If you're a seamstress and you've made bias tape before, you know what a pain it is. You know how you have to fold it in half, iron it, and then fold it again toward the center, iron it, fold it again. And we discovered a way to make it a little bit easier. So what you have to do is you have to get like a needle or some sort of long pin that you could stick into your ironing board. Um, our final bias or our first fold of the bias is less than one inch. So we have this pin that's about an inch big. So the first thing you do is you start off by folding your strip of fabric. This is at an inch and three quarters. And then it's a little bit tricky to get it through or under the needle at first. But once you get it under, you pull it through, you get your iron, and you iron that part. Might be a little hot, you might need to let it cool off a little. And then you just set your iron down. We have a safety pin here, it can really be anything, but that's to hold the iron in place. And then all you have to do is shape the rest of your strip of fabric. This fabric is about 34 inches long because it's being used as a tie for a mask. And you just pull it through the iron like so. So it's much faster. And you know how long that would take to do without it. And as you could tell, my ironing board has gotten pretty gross, <laughs> burnt up and brown, but it's worth it just to be able to get it. So once you have the strip in its first fold, then you make the second fold so that it's double folded, stick it under, and do the same thing. Iron that first part. So the iron down. And then just pull it through. And there you have your tie, your finished bias tape.